Hi, I'm ready here to show you the independent practice questions. And our first one, I already have the answer posted there, but uh, it says uh, describe different ways in which a plane might intersect the cylinder in the cross sections that results. So I'm going to go through each of them. There's four of them. There's horizontal, and you can make a circle. I'm going to zoom in on this here. So a horizontal means it's going to be straight through like that and what we would get is if it cut straight through imagine like that it'd be a circle it would be just like this right here it would be parallel to the base you're cutting slicing parallel to the base and you get a circle okay so that's one of them I'm gonna erase this here so I can make the others and the next one is uh, slanted. You would get an oval. So what they're talking about, it would be what I'm talking about is something like that. It's slanted. And so this side would be on the back. Okay, that was okay. Not the best, like little dashes there. Fill them in there. And then the front would be something like that. So it would be oval ish and then so yeah it would be it wouldn't be exactly a circle it wouldn't be a rectangle it'd be somewhere in between but ooh, speaking of rectangle because i believe that's the next one i have here is uh yeah the other one would be a vertical right oops it would be right here so we have vertical we have a rectangle i'll show you that how that works so if you slice it vertically let me erase the other one and so if you slice it vertically like this okay that wasn't so good but uh well, you know what i have a better idea i'm going to undo that and i'm going to do this let's see how this goes so we need a vertical line and we have a vertical line that cuts through just like this Yes, just like that. And so you would get a rectangle. And that rectangle would be, uh, boy, that, that's kind of hard to visualize, isn't it? It'd be something like this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, oh, no, 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 no. It, it, would be, it would be right off of that other line like that. So it would be something like that, some kind of, geez, I am so bad at that. It would be a rectangle. <laughs> it's it's ugly, but basically you would have this. This would be okay. So that looks like that. That looks pretty good, but then that part doesn't look like it. My perspective is not working out. I think that they would both be the same. Anyway, oh my goodness, I think I'm making it worse. Anyway, finally, I'm just gonna do the last one. The last one would just be. A line a vertical line but that vertical line would be right along the edge here and so you would just make a line so you can cut it that way you can cut it right here which would be that horrible um, rectangle that I said that you can make a circle or you can get an oval that would go like that okay now for this conjecture here we're trying to figure out well what cross sections might you see in a plane that intersects a cone that you would not see when it intersects a pyramid or a prism. Well, the main difference between these is we have a pyramid um, that has this pyramid or a prism, which is um, something like this. Boy, that is so ugly. So they basically have straight lines versus a um, uh, pyramid, uh, okay, so what, what uh, oh, a cone, yeah, so we got the cone, and the cone would be, uh, you know, you have a circular base, so they're asking what cross sections would you see in this one that you would not see in these, well, we see the rounded edges, and so we can cut it straight across. So we just see a circle, or we could see a we could see a triangle, but we could see triangles on this one too. So if I cut straight down, it would be a triangle. Uh, 
we could have a, a oh I know so we could go straight across for which we would see a we'd see a circle if we cut it this way and if we cut it this way to slant once again we'd see that oval that we saw before so we would have uh, what can we make with that uh, we can make uh, circles and ovals So next, on this critical thinking, two figures on the left below uh, uh, show that you can form a cross-section of a cube that is a pentagon. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, pentagon. Think of a plane cutting the cube in an angle in such a way as to slice through the five, uh, through five of the cube's six faces. Okay, draw dotted lines on the third side to show how to form a cross section that is a hexagon. Okay, well, what we have is we have the first one here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we have the same thing here. And so, a hexagon has six sides. So it looks like we can hit. Uh, let me get that here. So I'm going to use green. And so we can go the six sides. One side, two, three, four, five, and six. There's a hexagon that can cut through all those. Okay. Next, a sphere has a radius of 12 inches. A horizontal plane pass, passes through the center of the sphere. Describe the cross section formed by the plane and the sphere. So let me draw this for you. I will, well, let's see, could I get a circle on this? I can, okay. So let's see if I can do this here. We have a sphere, okay, a ball, and it cuts through the center of this. So let's say it cuts through the center, and this is uh, 12, 12 whatever it is, inches. So describe the cross section. Well, it's a ball. Imagine that, uh, you know, it goes around like that and through the front like that. So we're looking at uh, a, the cross section is a circle with a, uh, what, diameter of 12 inches. The cross, the cross, describe the cross sections formed as the plane intersects the interior of the sphere but moves away from the center. Okay, so the interior, so it, it's here and then it keeps moving away from the center like this. So what we should have is a, it's still going to be a cir circle but it's going to get, you know, it, it's going to hit this edge and then here and then it's going to get from here to here and it's just going to get smaller and smaller until it's just a dot down here. So, uh, uh, let's see. As, as you move farther, oops, <laughs> farther away from the center, The circle, circle cross sections will get smaller. Oh, we'll get smaller. That's it. Done deal. Nothing more to see about say about that. Okay, number ten. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so what we have is a. a uh, we're going to communicate some math ideas. A right rectangular prism is intersected by a horizontal plane and a vertical plane. Okay, the cross section formed by the horizontal plane and the prism is a rectangle with dimensions eight by twelve. And cross section formed by the vertical plane of the prism uh, is a rectangle with dimensions five by eight. Describe the face of the prism, including their dimensions. Find its volume. So what I need to do is I need to draw this. I'll do it here. So it's a right rectangular prism. Okay, so it's a 
uh, right me right prism means it, it's uh, it stands straight up. So I will draw this something like that, and this is not drawn to scale. So I'm just trying to draw the shape generally. And then we will fill in the uh, the other part. So uh, it's cut vertically, and that rectangle. Oh, you know what I should do? I should do it this way. I should do it like this. So it's cut vertically. So when you cut it vertically, you're going to get a. Oh, I should do this. This should be like that. Now, when I draw this, this ends here, this ends here, this goes like this. This is really bad. That is not going to work. So I can go like this, and I'll fix that. Oh, that goes solid. Okay, so there's my vertical one. Now, it says that vertically it's... Um, what? Oh, vertical. When it's for vertical plane, dimensions five by eight. Okay, so I guess I'll just do uh, blue. Um, I guess I'll call this eight. Ugh, I meant to do that in blue. Uh, eight, and I'll call this five, which would make this five as well. It would make this eight. Okay, now the other one, the horizontal one, uh, I, oh, I need to make a horizontal one. So the horizontal I'm going to do in green, and that's going to be like this. Ooh, that's too close to that. Um, let's go with this. I'm going to get some intersecting lines here. We're going to have to use our imagination here. Okay, so um, this is uh, five. Oh, you know, no, I'm sorry. This is uh, eight by 12. Well, I learned. Okay, so in this, then the 12 is going to have to be here. So this is 12, you know, just like the other side is going to be 12. And then I have to switch the 8 and the 5. So this is going to be, oh, check it out. I'm going to do this. 8, 8, uh-huh. And then the other one's going to have to be a 5. So I have to change this a little bit. So I need to do the eraser. And this is going to erase. And I have to erase that, e, and that. So, again, I said this is not going to be to scale. So, um, eight and eight, and uh, that was um, five. Five, yeah. So that makes the outside five. So I know it doesn't. It looks kind of funky, but anyway, we have this now, and. What it, describe the um, faces of the prism, including their dimensions, and find its volume. Okay, so the 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 faces are twelve by eight. So the faces. Let's go with this. The faces are twelve by eight. And uh, two are eight by five, yes, and two and two are uh, what was it a twelve by five? So and then I made a mistake with this is two of the phases, right? two faces. And let's see, does that make sense? You know, we have, um, 
what this is going to be five by eight here's one face here and then its opposite side is the same we have um, 12 by 8 12 by 8 that's the green and that that green is going to be the same as the top and the bottom that's 12 by 8 and then uh, 12 by 5 let's see ah yes yeah so the 12 by 5 would be 12 here by 5 that's the front that's the front and the back the back right there so that is that and then our volume is going to be uh, I believe um, 5 times 8 times 12 so the volume uh, volume equals 12 times 8 times 5 which is 480 and we're talking about feet I think oh no inches so cubic inches inches cubed okay Next, uh, let's represent a real world problem. Describe a real world situation that could be represented by the plane slicing a three dimensional figure to form cross sections. So, what we could have is uh, probably a building. Yeah, how about a building? Uh, with floors. each floor oh uh, each floor uh, would be a cross section of the building which is a rectangular Prism. There you go. That's what you got to know for this uh, lesson on the ooh, cross sections. Hope this has been helpful. Bye.